Wait, a bunch of dots? What the deuce is a line plot? The best way to learn line plots is just to look at a picture here. I have a horizontal line here. That black line at the bottom, it's just an axis. And that's a word you'll hear later when you do algebra. But don't worry about that right now. This is a line. It's got numbers on it. If I wanted to know how many kiddos had one avocado, all I have to do is look at the one on this line. How many X marks do you see above the one? Well, count them. One, two. That means you had two kiddos, two students, who had one avocado. But if I wanted to know how many kiddos ate three avocados, because, you know, they were powerfully hungry, I just go to the three on this line, and I count the number of X's above the three. One, two, three. Three kiddos had three avocados. And likewise, the zero tells me one, two, three, four. Yep, four X's above the zero. Okay, in plain everyday English, four kiddos had no avocados. There were four students in this group that ate none of the avocados. All right, let's turn this up a notch. We're gonna talk about the number of dog barfs this year. Oh, that's disgusting. Who decided this would be a good idea? Okay, we gotta fire them and get a new programmer here. All right, press on. We're looking at a lot of numbers here. We're gonna work with the same line, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I wanted to know how many dogs barfed twice this year, ugh, okay, that's disgusting. But setting that aside, you're gonna look at the two on this line. How many X marks do we have above the two? That's right, three, one, two, three. That means three dogs barfed twice this year or two times this year. Ugh, how many didn't barf this year? If they didn't barf, that means they barfed zero times. Okay, so look at the zero. How many X marks are above the zero? One, two, three. There you go. We got through this. Three dogs, no barfs this year. Good for them. They kept their kibble down. What's the number of times you have to join the Greater Gators class? Who oh, no. Just ask your mom, dad, or Uncle Bob how at the link below. All right, the previous example was ridiculous. Let's do something a little more on the level here. We've got toast. All right, who doesn't like toast? Toast is amazing. Look at this line again. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Those are the numbers that we are working with. They correspond to how many slices of toast the kids are eating. We want to know how many kids ate more than one slice of toast. Oh, okay, more than one. Better watch out, that greater gator. Yep, there he is. That means greater than one. Okay, well, according to this line plot, we have X marks above three, four, and six. Those are the numbers that are bigger than one that have X marks. So let's count up those Xs. There are three above three, one above four, and two above six. That means you have three plus one plus two, or a total of six. So six kids had more than one slice of toast. Similarly, what if I said, how many ate at most three slices of toast? At most three slices. That means less than or equal to three. Less than or equal to three. Well, on this line plot, I've only got two numbers with X marks that are less than or equal to three. One and three. There are three X's above the one. There are three X's above the three, three and three. Bada boom, bada bing, Bob's your uncle, that's six again. So six kiddos had at most three slices. So who needs to know this? Well, it's just one of those problem solving activities you'll find in a math course. The world mostly uses pie charts and bar graphs, but somebody somewhere might use these line plots. Because that feels like a remote possibility, I give this skill a whopping one out of five avocados. This is it. Don't get scared now. Rolling numbers with a six-sided die. How many people rolled a five? Well, a six-sided die, as the name suggests, is a cube. And on each face of the cube is a number, one through six. That's why on our line down here, you'll see no action going on above the zero. Because zero is not on the die. Yes, the word is die. If you have more than one, it becomes dice. Now, if you have one die, we want to know, according to this line plot, 
how many people rolled a five? Well, it's simple. Just go to the five on the line plot and count the X's above it. One, two, three, four. Bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle. You have four people who rolled a five. Let's make it a little harder. How many people rolled an even number? Oh, yes, even numbers. Man, that's rather good. There are three even numbers that we are looking at here with information. Two, four, and six. Again, zero is not on the die, so ignore that. Two, four, and six. How many X's are above the two, four, and six? I have three, two, and two above the two, four, and six. So when I add three plus two plus two, well, I get seven. So I have, according to this line plot, seven people who rolled an even number. Yar, har, 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 har. Welcome to the bonus section, 